1941, the Jefferson Nickel in mean state 68 with full steps. Fully struck, flawless surfaces shine with luster and are overlaid in beautiful blended lavender, gold and rose toning. It ended up selling for $6,500. This is 1973 as Canada dollar in PR64 ultra cameo condition. Multi-struck mint error coin, a spectacular proof Kennedy of dollar error showing the planchette expanded from multiple strikes out of color. All design elements and border legends are visible moderately center on the planchette. This deeply reflective piece is sharply detailed and brilliant showing strong contrast in addition to the visual interest of the error. Only a few faint hairlines prevent an even finer designation. It was sold for $3,120. Here is 1920s Lincoln Cent in MS65 red condition. With one, a single example graded finer, it's clear that this date simply was not preserved in bulk as many other dates in the series. A very difficult example to find with red surfaces is opportunity for a near finest example at a price far less than what they have historically brought is an unusual one. It was sold for $11,000. Here is attractively toned 1939 S. Washington quarter in MS68 condition. Great had been further proven by CAC, according to NGC, the popularity of collecting United States coins by date and mint emerged during the mid 1930s in the response to the several very low mintage issues struck 1930 1933 that had already gained premiums. Hoping for lightning to strike twice, speculators routinely saved fresh rolls of new coins for decades afterwards. This has assured that a relatively low mintage coin such as 1939s quarter, which is rare in MS67 grade, and higher. This rare gem ended up selling for $23,062.50 with buyer's fee. Moving on with this 2001p Sacagawea dollar struck on a nickel planchette, graded in mean state 61 by NGC. The strike is nearly flush with upper right upwards and lower right reverse borders. The difference in size between the dollar dies and nickel planchette has resulted in the loss of only the top half of the letters in the words United States off on the reverse and a few minor details along the lower left upwards border. All features that are present are fully impressed and sharp. The surface is bright with satiny mint brilliance. A thin shallow upwards scuff over and behind Sacagawea's head is the only impediment to a higher mint state grade. It was sold for $10,200. 1937 Double Dial vs. Washington Quarter, graded in mean state 66 by PCGS, a stellar example of this rare and desirable Double Dial vs. variety, with satiny luster basing the fields and devices toned with a hint of yellow haze. Examination of the surfaces will find a little evidence of contact, and this would be a great coin, where it simply is the usual of worse die. But this is a dramatically doubled of verse. Not a doubling on the motto and the date, which is clear with a magnifier. It was sold for $17,825. This is 1912 D. Lincoln Sand in MS65 Plus wet condition, graded by PCGS and the grade proven by CAC. According to NGC, 1912 D cents are not that rare, but finding one having a sharp strike from the fresh dyes will be quite challenging. The typical mean state survival reveals peripheral dye erosion or a weakening of Lincoln's label from the overpolishing of the dye to remove such erosion furrows. One of the oddities of the copper or bronze coinage is that poorly struck pieces tend to retain their mint red color more readily than sharp coins. The latter are almost routinely found brown or at best red and brown. This is certainly the case for this issue. Examples in the higher circulated grades are likewise scarce and are affected by the same strike considerations. This MS65 Plus gem was sold for $1,662.75 with buyer's fee. Here is 1976S Bicentennial Silver Quarter in MS69 condition. This superb gem is in the threshold of numismatic perfection. According to NGC Price Guide, as of August 2023, a Washington Quarter from 1976S in circulated condition is worth between $2.30 and $3.40. However, on the open market, Bicentennial S silver quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $10,000.
This MS69 quarter was sold for $7,368.75 with buyer's fee. Here is 1993 Memorial Penny in MS68 plus red condition. A 1993 Lincoln Memorial sent graded as MS68 plus red is indeed a high quality coin. A coin graded as MS68 plus red is in exceptional condition, nearly free of any noticeable imperfections. Such high-grade coins are relatively rare because they have survived in an uncirculated state, preserving their original mint luster and surface quality. This scarce specimen was sold for $1184.62 with buyer's fee. 1974 D. Lincoln sent in a 67 plus red condition. According to PCGS, the 1974 D. Lincoln sent is very common. The mint struck over 4.2 billion examples at Every Lincoln Cent collector can own many of them. In circulated grades up to MS66, they are common. In MS67, they are much scarcer overall. In MS68 or higher, they are considered rare. This MS67 Plus gem was sold for $1125.01 with buyer's fee. Number 10, this is 1961 Roosevelt time with attractive toning, graded in mean state 67 plus full bands by PCGS. According to NGC, starting these years and lasting through the early years of clad coinage, mintage rose dramatically in response to a growing shortage of coins. It ultimately turned out there were enough coins to go around, but they were not being returned to circulation in a timely manner by coin operated businesses. The 1961 P dimes were hoarded in, in back quantities, though a certain percentage of these pieces were melted during the periods when their bullion value greatly exceeded their numismatic value. Certified examples are plentiful through MS67, but examples having full torch or full band details are in very short supply. This rarity was sold for $5,006.25 with buyer's fee. It's 1951 S. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Satiny luster is interrupted by rich rainbow tones spanning the obverse and framing mottled central devices on the reverse. The strike is boldly executed throughout and the eye appeal is fantastic. CEC approved for the quality. It ended up selling for $9,381. Here is 1955 Lincoln Cent in PR69 deep cameo condition. Shown is a truly memorable coin in proof Lincoln Cent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery field supports satiny design elements, the entire package smooth in hand, and virtually pristine. The proof mintage of this issue is. 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade, and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the Proof Lincoln series. This rare specimen was sold for $50,400.